Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, Jim's wife, and I am on my way down to um, catch Jim plowing uh, way down in the field below. I bet you can't see him from here, but it, it's a stretch down. Anyways, we're in the field where Jim was plowing the other day. The cows have been enjoying a lot of time out here, even though they have nice green grass right over there. They have been spending a lot of time in here. So let's head on down and see how Jim's doing. Let's see who he's using today and how, how it's going. I will tell you that yesterday he's had a good day plowing. He was just very excited last night because he got a lot done and he'll share with you what he has been doing even when the horses have to rest but um, he just you can tell when somebody really loves what they're doing and that was the enthusiasm he was sharing last night good morning everybody so we're out here plowing yesterday I plowed with um, lady and Ken and Bill and this morning I decided I'd put Baron in and I have him in on the left hand side right here so I have Baron Ken and Bill. It's about 48 degrees out right now. Um, it's uh, kind of humid. I'm surprised uh, the horse is actually steaming a little bit and yesterday they didn't hardly sweat at all. Anyways, I want to share a little bit about what I'm doing. So um, I showed you a video earlier on my cornfield and I will talk more about that probably as we go along, but we are dry enough down here where we got this ground tiled that I wanted to jump right on this and get this done because up there in the cornfield, it's higher and drier, you know, just naturally it's higher and drier up there. And here it's a little wetter, but the tile seems to be helping even already. So what I'm doing is as, as I'm plowing through, I've got my old plow, as you can see, and it is working great. Um, the soil is breaking up really nice. Um, but as you can see also off to our left there, we have the skid steer and I also have the four wheeler here. The four wheeler here is to, if need be, I can tie Baron, um, but it's probably not necessary. Most, the biggest issue with Baron is he might swing over and bite um, Ken, and I don't want that. But anyways, the skid steer is here because it works really good when I'm plowing, um, especially when I got a team that I can trust. I can just stop them at any point and pick stones that might be in the field. Here is a good example. I was just coming up through and I hit the plow, jumped over this stone right here. Well, that's a not a huge stone, but a decent sized stone. So I'm gonna take my skid steer, I have my forks in the skid steer, and I'm gonna pop that stone right out of there, and I'll show you how I do that. Let's come over here for a minute, Brenda. I wanna show what we dug up yesterday. So what I do, these aren't the ones I wanna show, but what I do as I get closer to this few, these few stones here, and there's another one right behind Brenda, um, what had happened because of the tiling, it just brings up stones. So we have these stones sitting on top or I hit it with a plow like I just showed you in that one over there. So what I do is I get closer and closer to these stones, I will stop and grab those stones and throw them on top of the plow ground, try to throw them into piles type of thing so that when I go and after I'm done plowing and I want to start picking stones, they're right up top and they're easy to get to. Anyways, these are the stones I wanted to show you. Yesterday, I had these four stones in the ditch where the tile went. And as you can see, they're all kind of nice flat stones. They were all together as one piece. It must be when the dozer came through, he hit them in such a way that popped them up to the surface so they, they were standing on edge. And I was able to pop them out of the ground with the skid steer and they're all nice flat stones, probably because the, the dozer somewhat broke them into pieces. So I'm assuming Brenda's gonna kinda of want those for a few things. So I'm gonna start the skid steer up and pop that stone out of the way. And I'll show you how I do that with my forks. I have my forks on, but they're spread, they're slid together.
it is so nice to be able to have a skid steer here to do things like that. You know, our forefathers and myself even have spent many years digging these stones out of the fields by hand with a crowbar and iron bar to get them up and out of the, out of the furrow. Um, but nowadays with skid steers and modern equipment, I'm able to kind of mix the both the old with the new and still be able to use horses, but still be able to use the modern equipment to help me physically do so many of the things that need to be done. So I will get going. You can see how this works with this whole plow of mine. Cast up, cast up. Careful. 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 Ah. Ah. Ah, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, there's another big stone right there, Brenda. You can show them. I'll go around one time, then I'll stop and get that out of the out of the furrow. That looks like a big one. And there again, it's right in the path where the tile went. That's what the dozer brought up. So I'll just go around one more time and stop and work on that. Cut stuff. This is Baron's first time this fall plowing. And uh, I don't know, just something about a new horse kind of works up all the rest of them until they get used to things. So they're not really plowing anywhere near as good as they were yesterday with when Lady was working with them. And this afternoon I'll use Lady, but it's time to get Baron used to more plowing. He did some this spring, but ha, careful ha, careful ha, ha. Huh? Huh? All the plowing that I do it's really nice on this particular field all I have for stony areas is just this top half the whole lower three quarters of this field there's not a stone in it so at this end of the field I do a lot of resting um, and picking stones and working on this that and the other thing um, I I don't like to sit here and just rest horses so I like to stay busy so it works good I just rest the horses on this end and pick up stones and put them in piles But if I don't put them in the plowed ground, they'll get buried right back in. So that's what I try to do. Careful. 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 
Ah. A ver. So here I am back at the top of the field again, attempting to get this big old stone out. It turned out to be a lot bigger stone than I thought it was, and I didn't know if I'd be able to get it with my skid steer. I thought maybe I'd have to get the excavator up here to get it out, but I finally got it dug out so I could get it off out of the hole. I finally got the rock almost out, and it kept falling down, so I put a smaller rock in underneath it to hold it from going all the way down so I could get a better grip on it to pick it up out of the ground. everybody Duke has some exciting news for you and so does an Earl we have our new 2024 calendars they will be available on the website or check click the link below the description of this video and you'll find how you can purchase them I really think they're the best calendar we have produced yet and I thank Abby for help helping us put it together and Jim for having all these wonderful horses that I got to take some pictures of. So um, we hope that you will enjoy the calendar this year. We have highlights from the year. All of our horses are on it. And um, we just tried to really share with you the seasons of the year in the calendar. So they will be available as soon as you see the link below the video and click on it. Take care.